Story Spectacular presents Sleepy Time Tales. Tonight's tale is Little Red Riding Scooter. It's Sleepy Time Tales, brought to you by Story Spectacular, the podcast for calming nap times, relaxing bedtimes, or for when you just want to unwind with a soothing story. I'm your host, Angie. Tonight, we're going to hear about Little Red, who loves to ride her scooter to Grammy's house. I wonder if Grammy will be home today, or perhaps an unexpected guest will be waiting for Little Red. Let's begin our tale now. Little Red Riding Scooter Little Red woke up early in the morning and fetched the mail. There was a letter from Grammy. It said, Dear Little Red, I'm stuck in bed. Please bring some goodies so I may be fed. Little Red grabbed some goodies and packed them in her scooter basket. Then she took off down the scooter path that led to her Grammy's house. Meanwhile, old Grammy was feeling a little bit better, so she decided to run out real quick and fetch some goodies for her visit with Little Red. She left a note for her granddaughter that said, Be back soon, love Grammy. Then Grammy said goodbye to her big silly dog named Wolfie. Goodbye, Wolfie, behave yourself. Then Grammy was out the door. Shortly after Grammy left, Little Red came along, riding her scooter. She parked and started to unload all of her things. Wolfie, the big silly dog, looked out the window and saw all of the tasty goodies that Little Red had packed in her basket. Hmm, I have an idea. Wolfie hid the note from Grammy and then ran into the closet. Wolfie put on Grammy's nightgown, then her glasses, and to finish off the disguise, he placed Grammy's sleeping cap on top of his head to cover his furry ears. This granny outfit is sure to fool Little Red, and tasty goodies I'm sure to be fed. Then he jumped into Grammy's bed and pulled up the covers. Little Red walked through the door. Hello, Grammy. I brought you some goodies. In here. (coughs) I mean, in here, dear. Little Red went into Grammy's room. Wow, Granny, you don't look very well. No, I'm still feeling a bit ill, but I haven't lost my appetite. How's about I have a sweet treat to eat? But, Grammy, why are you all covered in fur? Uh, Well, you see, dear, I haven't had a good shave in a few days, that's all. Hmm. Well, why do you have such a big nose? Uh, all the better to smell you with, my sweet flower. Just then, Grammy's sleeping cap slipped off the top of Wolfie's head and his big ears came popping out. Well, 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 Grammy, why do you have such big floppy ears? Why, uh, that's just the new style. Besides, they help me hear better. You're not really, Grammy. You're just wearing Grammy's jammies. Just then, the real Grammy came waltzing through the door. Grammy, Grammy, someone is pretending to be you. Look. Why, it's Wolfie, my big silly dog. What do you have to say for yourself, Mr. Wolfie? Well, I'm sorry, Little Red. After Wolfie spent a little time and time out, he was allowed to join Grammy and Little Red for a picnic outside. 
They shared some goodies and had a good laugh. Then Little Red gave Grammy and Wolfie a hug goodbye, and she rode her scooter all the way home. The end. Story Spectacular is written and hosted by Angela Ferrari. To purchase original children's books and to watch spectacular videos, go to storyspectacular.com. If you enjoyed this episode, remember to subscribe to Story Spectacular on Apple Podcasts. This helps get the word out so that others can enjoy sleepy time tales too. Sleepy time.